Armoury House in the City of London is the headquarters of the Honourable Artillery Company, or HAC, which is the oldest regiment in the British Army. Today its members serve as reservists and are often deployed overseas. But they have among their ranks an unusual group of men. The Company of Pikemen and Musketeers is a ceremonial subunit of the HAC. Dressed and equipped as members would have been during the 1640s, they provide a bodyguard and escort for the Lord Mayor of the City of London. This evening, they are preparing to be on duty at Guildhall, but their most important event of the year, the Lord Mayor Show, is now only days away. Only veteran members of the HAC, who have given years of exemplary service, are eligible to join. Anthony Brummett is a financial advisor in the City of London and joined the regiment in 1988. A Serbo-Croat speaker, he deployed with the active unit to Bosnia. So basically they've done the shoes, they've done the stockings, and these are called the knee ties. And they're just there to sort of, because they're authentic 1650s historical uniform. And then you just tuck the trouser down to give you a sort of billowing effect. And that's it. And now I'm going to search for someone who's got a red jacket. Here you are, sir. His Venetian red tunic is identical to that worn by the regiment during the reign of Charles I. And basically, it's always a team effort because you can't dress yourself. So I'll be going over to Rupert and he can do the hooks and the eyes, other bits and pieces. And when we get to the armour, that's a team effort because it's two halves and you have to be sort of sandwiched in the middle of it. Rupert, have you told this young man why there are three knots in that? It is uh, a, uh, an emulation of the, of the Holy, Holy Trinity. Trinity. Yeah, Father, yeah. Son and Holy Ghost. Uh, that's the theory, yeah. As a pikeman, Anthony's suit of armour consists of several layers. And then, if we could just get the breastplate, which is just on the table over there. <laughs> you should basically allow an hour to get dressed. You need to have a buddy nearby to sort you out. Altogether, it weighs 18 pounds and costs around 5,500 pounds. Today, there is only one manufacturer left in the United Kingdom producing them. Originally, a pike would have been 18 feet long, but for reasons of practicality, only 12-foot pikes are used today. Members are unpaid and volunteer their spare time for drill practice and rehearsals, as well as the actual parades and ceremonies. Robert Rafferty is a senior director in a property company and is also a former regular soldier. But right now, he's a proud musketeer. This is the jerkin, leather jerkin, which protective uh, uniform uh, uh, when firing with the muskets. This is the bandolier, which kept here with the flas uh, for the powder, known as the 12 of the apostles, because there are 12 of them. Very important to try to make sure that these are untangled and hanging neatly. Powder in here, a lit taper, and then ignited here. And it was a particularly dangerous occupation. Because when you're firing a musket, you have to use a rest. It means when we're marching, we can't change shoulder. So for the Lord Mayor show, we'll be marching like this for the full journey of five miles. And as I said, with 13 pounds on your shoulder, it is really quite heavy. Parading is a key function of the company of pikemen and musketeers, and leading from the front will be the drum beater. Simon Garrett works as a risk consultant in an events business and first joined the HAC over 30 years ago. This is a 17th century war drum, so uh, in, but in, this, in the day this would have been um, cow skin or some sort of an animal skin, so it won't, you, you have to tighten it, actually, this one is actually synthetic, but it, you have to tight it, tighten it, um, and of course a modern, a modern drum would you tighten with a ski, key and it would have screws and things, but this doesn't work that way, um, so you have to tighten it with good old rope and leather. 
I, I need it to bounce, otherwise it's just like playing the top of a rice pudding, you know, it won't, it won't play anything. Uh, in its original configuration, it's a piece of signalling equipment. So when they get a word of command, I, I beat the time the appropriate numbers of times for them to then get the next configuration. And my job as the um, lead drum beater is to also sequence the music. So when to cut it off, when to come in, and also keep the time. Um, otherwise we'll bang into the back of the Lord Mayor's coach. If I don't, if I don't, if I don't keep the time right, we'll, we'll have a collision with the Lord Mayor or we'll lose him and he'll disappear off into the distance. Right, gentlemen, five minutes to parade. The pikemen and musketeers add colour and pageantry to any occasion. In fact, they can be hired for private events, such as the one at Guildhall tonight. Their unique form of drill comes directly from a manual first published in 1638 and involves some curiously original orders such as assume a lazy posture, charge for horse and draw yourself, and... Company of pikemen and musketeers, have a care. Tonight's event doesn't involve the full company, but the highest standards are still expected. Uh, yes, um, could you please make sure that your breeches are pulled down over the tops of your uh, knee ties? Uh, it's always a hazard with the way the breeches are made. It would be nice if we could do that before we get out of the cage. So. Tempted to say haircut. Company of Pikemen and Musketeers, face to your right. Forward, march. Company, port your pikes. The company of pikemen and musketeers play an integral part in the Lord Mayor show and will be expected to put on a memorable and faultless display. After tonight, they will only have one more practice. Then, it's the most important day in their year. It's the morning of the Lord Mayor show Chin strap on, musketeer Fowler. And the pikemen and musketeers are in their final preparations. What we're going to do first of all is we're simply going to have a warm up. So we're going to practice a few movements, we're going to practice some marching, and we're going to practice some wheeling. In 1955, the Queen granted the company a royal warrant allowing them to parade and provide a ceremonial bodyguard for the Lord Mayor of the City of London. Order! Your pikes! The maximum number allowed is 63, the size of a company in the 17th century. Company stand at your ease! Wake up, Montague. Stand easy! Richard Jackson is their captain, and this will be his 47th Lord Mayor show. You're hesitating. You've got to be much more confident than this. I know you'll be all right when we get down there, but you need to wake up, OK? The most important thing for me is that uh, they look smart, they, they're proud of themselves, and they put on a good show in their colourful and bright, shiny uniforms. But what is important, technically, is that they get the drill right. It's just great fun, and the crowd's great. They turn out like they do in Britain to cheer you on, which is brilliant. You feel as though you're part of the pageantry and the history of, of in particular, London. And it's, uh, it's important that people show that the City of London is important with the Lord Mayor and in particular the HAC, who are, who are the city's regiment in a way. The procession will be three miles long and will take the men up to four hours to complete. Forward! March! At 10.45, they set off down the streets of London. This 800-year-old tradition marks the occasion when the City of London Mayor swears loyalty to the Crown. The procession from Bank to Aldrich 
draws thousands of participants and tourists. Throughout, the pikemen and musketeers escort the new mayor, Peter Eslin, in his gold state coach. And as he passes by St. Paul's, he pauses to receive a blessing. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest on you and remain with you on this day of rejoicing. Amen. With this part of the procession complete, the Lord Mayor and his ceremonial bodyguard continue on their way. It might only be one remarkable day for excited onlookers, but for these pikemen and musketeers, it's the proud culmination of weeks of preparation and centuries of tradition.